Hi guys, it's Jenny and today we're doing a daily reset. Quick set of mobility to help you feel a little bit better. So first of all, you're just going to stretch. Nice and tall, nice and high, reaching the hands up. Take a deep breath in, twist to the side a little bit, twist to the other side. Getting a big long stretch in the torso, do a little side stretch as well. And then on the other side, I love starting off mobility with a big stretch like this. Because you don't always know that you're tight oh, until you start moving and your body usually knows you can sort of fold down and it's more like an instinctive sort of stretch. So do a couple of wiggles, a couple of stretches of the torso, bring yourself back up and then that just gets us doing that initial move that we may haven't done all day or overnight or whatever. Next, we'll move to the neck. So bring the shoulders down. I really want you to focus on up, back, and down. Imagine that you're pulling your shoulders down into your pockets and then do big circles. One way. And then the other way. Keep pulling those shoulders down, increasing the stretch in the neck. We're doing this all quite quick paced and quite flowy today just so we're focusing on getting moving. Next go to yes nods but with our head in a diagonal tip so I've tipped my head to the right and I am moving my head up and down. Left shoulder is pulling down the whole time moving away from that left ear. And then switch sides, tip the head to the left pulling the right shoulder down moving forward and backwards. It makes you a little dizzy moving this fast. Please move much slower, go at your own pace. I just like these fast paced ones to be like, yeah, I'm getting moving, I'm getting going. Cool. Do a couple more rotations just to finish. You can sort of turn your head to look either side now. So we're looking over our shoulder as we rotate. And the other way. And then we're going to move on to the thoracic spine, which is the upper back. We're going to get that moving. So just do a couple of opens and closes, I guess. So we're arching the back up, we're opening the chest, and we're rounding the back forward. Arching, rounding, arching, rounding, letting the shoulders move with you. So you're like swimming a little bit with the arms. Then lift the arms overhead. We're going to cross grab opposite elbows. Or if you can't do this comfortably, you can just cross your hands on your shoulders like this. And we're going to just stand nice and wide, nice and sturdy. And we're going to start doing big rotations of the upper back. So I'm trying not to move my hips. I'm just moving my upper back. Round and round and round. Shoulder from the side. All like this. So we're kind of getting the side stretches and the arches and the rounds all in one go. And if you find something that's tight, so maybe you tip over to the left and then we rotate up and again. So we're sort of like stopping wherever we might feel some tightness, having a little wiggle there. Sort of round forwards. Giving yourselves a couple of wiggles here, pushing one shoulder up, pushing the other shoulder up, rounding it up. Lift up the arms, stretch again, and we're going to do big arm circles. So this is really quite like um, free flowing in a way. We're obviously kind of we're following a vague head down pattern, but and backwards with the arm circles. We're essentially just taking all of our bits and giving them a wiggle, which is all you need to do really. We're always looking for these fancy new exercises, one arm over, one arm under, and you don't need them, you just need circles, you just need movements, just anything that feels good for you. So take your feet nice and wide now, we're going to lift the arms up, we're going to fold forwards, just however low you can go. No need to go all the way to the floor, just wherever is comfortable for you. Bend one leg, straighten the other, and just give your hips a little bit of a wiggle side to side. We're swaying our hips. So now we're stretching our hamstrings a little, stretching our hips a little. 
You can move your hands outward, so you've got one hand where your each foot is. Left hand in the middle, right hand up. <laughs> with a little twist. You can also do this if you're not on the floor. You just have your left hand hovering. And then switch, right hand down, left hand up. And then one final fold forwards. Heel toe your feet back in slightly. Using your hands if you need, squat down on the floor. So we're nice and low. Your feet can be wide, your heels can be up, one heel can be up. Choose it as a little challenge to see how's our squat today. And using the hands again if you need, pop yourself on the floor. And we've got a 90-90 position. So one leg is externally rotated, one leg is internally rotated, and we're going to switch, rotating over the heels. If you find you can't sit up and you can't switch, that's okay. Just lean back on your hands. And you can even sit on a sofa or a chair or something, and we're just rotating like this. If it's just really not happening for you today. So we'll keep going, rotate those hips. You can get like really quite dramatic with it and rotate your whole torso around as you go and do whatever the heck I'm doing with my arms. Or you can stay quite casual and just rock side to side. Depends how you're feeling this morning. Then we're going to stop on one side, doesn't matter which. Pop up onto all fours and then we're going to step the right foot forward. So we're in this lunge position. Just going to get a bit of forward and backwards movement on the go. We're sinking in to that front leg. So we're stretching our back hip flexor, which is my right. Now a little bit of the groin on the front leg. A little challenge. Pop up that back leg. And then sink back into a hamstring stretch. Stretching the left leg hamstring. Pop forwards. Stretching the right hip flexor. Challenge. Bend the back leg. Maybe you grab it. Boop. And then pop it back. Hamstring stretch. And then we're going to go a little bit more sideways. So this front left leg, I'm going to turn my toes to face in. So they're facing to the right. And I just come down in like this slightly diagonal angle and then back up. We're not obviously going all the way. That would be crazy. Now we turn our left foot out to the left and sink in a little bit there. So it's just like getting a little bit of variety in our hip. We're just popping in and out of that lunge, rotating between in and out. If it feels a bit funny on your knee, just don't go all that far, just turn it a teeny little tiny bit or stay with the front facing foot. Okay, switch sides, bring your left foot back, right foot forwards. We'll start off with our classic forward and backwards, low lunge. Stretching that back hip flexor, challenge, lift that back foot, then sit back, stretching the front hamstring, have a little wiggle, sit forwards, stretching that hip flexor, whoop, pop the back foot up, if you like, sitting into your runner stretch. Then as we come forwards, we turn the right foot in slightly, just changing that hip stretch a little, come up, turn it out slightly, sink down, couple more times and again just rotate as much as you feel comfortable that might be a tiny bit might be loads just to get that little bit of variety in the hips nothing too crazy cool you can even stretch your arms up while you're there we're going to do a tiny bit of wrists so rotate the wrists just in a figure of eight position one way and the other way rotate them individually Free rotation because we're going to do a teeny tiny thoracic bridge because a daily re reset would not be complete without a thoracic bridge. One of my favorite movements. For this, you can have your hand on a sofa or chair or ledge or windowsill, whatever you need. If you're all good, what we're going to do is start with our feet both planted, left foot behind, pushing the hips up and stretch up as high as we can. So all you would do is have your left hand instead of it on the floor, you'd have it on your sofa, chair, bed. Opening up the chest, opening up this other arm. 
breathe. And relax down. Switch sides. Right hand is now on the floor or the chair or your husband, <laughs> dog, whatever you have handy. Reaching up. Stretching. So you should feel a nice stretch in the hips as well as the chest and the arms. And relax down. And don't worry, that was the last one of those that we're going to do. But I just love throwing those in. It really opens you up no matter what you've been doing. We are going to finish with a fun challenge. Couldn't have a daily reset without a little bit of balance. So we're going to start standing on our right leg, lifting the left leg up, no matter how high you do it. Could be really super high, could be just off the floor. Then you're going to step back into a lunge, lower yourself down, cushion under the knee if you need it, then back up to our balance. Now we're going to take this left leg and sweep it round the back to the right, so we're in this diagonal curtsy lunge, and back up, whoop, and then we're going to take it and just put it down to the back left and sort of bend in this half Cossack squat. If you have the space, you can go all the way into a Cossack. Bring yourself back up to the middle, we'll do that one more time, a nice challenge, down to the lunge, up, down to the curtsy lunge, up, and then back to our half Cossack. Okay, so it sides, lifting up the left leg, standing, no, lifting up the right leg, standing on our left, pop it back into our lunge, use assistance if you need, you can hold on to anything at all around you. Back down for our diagonal curtsy, up, and down the other way for our half Cossack, up. So the hardest part is jumping yourself from the lunge back into that balance. If you're struggling with it today, don't worry. It just takes a bit of practice. Let's go through here. Cross that. It's a lovely challenge to get your body woken up. Give yourself one final wiggle. Couple of hip rotations. Couple of shoulder rotations. <laughs> Big arm swings. <sighs> and maybe a couple of head circles, just to finish. And I hope that you feel reset, refreshed, challenged, and much more mobile. Have a great day, guys.